friends, this is part one of a multi-part plan that I have. Oops, getting this fire going. Here is part two. There we have it. The tent is up. It is going to need some cleanup inside. I already know that, so I'm off to get my broom and dustpan. Time to get some bug spray.
Let's back our camp out. Feels pretty nice out here. The fire feels really good. I'm at a good distance to enjoy the warmth, even though I'm in short sleeves and shorts for now. I'll put on some sleeves and whatnot when I go to sleep. The temperature's gonna drop another 12 to 14 degrees. Um, not cold by most people's imagination, about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, but certainly colder than what I'm used to for sleeping. So I have my blanket down by the fire and I am warming it basically so I can put it over top of my sleeping bag in the tent. This is a lot of fun. I spruced up the front of the tent a little bit too. Put some fairy lights on there just around the edge of the rain shield. I think it's cute. Give me a little bit of extra light going in. I haven't really done any filming at night before, so the uh, shadows and the different light is um, not something I'm accustomed to, but it just allows me to talk to you guys real time, somewhat real time. You'll be watching the recorded version of me at the time that I was just enjoying this. I brought a couple of projects out of the house with me, and um, you know, I just realized that I may not have introduced this video, but Probably by now you know that I'm camping out in my backyard. It's something I've really wanted to do for a long time. <laughs> so um, you would have seen the setup of everything and me just getting everything ready so that I could spend the night out here. I had dinner. I warmed up some leftovers from our favorite Indian restaurant and I did that over the fire, which was all part of the camp out feeling for me cooking something over a fire. It was delicious, again. And I brought some projects with me, of course. Let's see, I don't know what is the, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to wait till tomorrow morning to show you this, but I'm spinning. I've got my spindle and some fiber from John Arbin that's very easy to spin, so I've just been doing it here by the fireside. I was listening to an audiobook, but I turned that off because now we're starting to get some of the night sounds, crickets, and other creatures. You can hear some traffic in my neighborhood at this time. It's not too bad though. Our trees tend to buffer a lot. I think when the fire naturally goes down a good bit, I will go inside the tent. Well, this is fun to have for when I'm sitting out here. I also have my knitting for when I'm inside the tent. This would be a little bit harder to do in the tent because it is basically a two-person tent. Not very tall, not meant for you to stand up and walk around in there. but it's plenty of room for me to have a hangout. I love how fine this is spinning. So, I'll see what else I can share with you between now and tomorrow for this backyard camp out I'm having. I'm loving it so far. I'm inside the tent now, got my sleeping bag, blanket, snacks, <laughs> I don't 
my devices, of course, and my battery's running low, so I wish you a very good night. It is the first full moon of 2023, and I'm happy to be spending the night underneath its beams. Good morning. <laughs> I did it. I slept outside in my tent, and... As predicted, it got cold, but I got on a lot of layers here. Mm. Totally worth it. I would do it again. I would definitely do it again. <laughs> now, to get up and get warm, warmer, <laughs> I'm going to build another fire and do breakfast out there. Very grateful for my hand knits last night. Oh, I slept in a hat, a shawl, and socks. That wool comes in handy. Good morning again from a slightly more awake and definitely a warmer me by the fire again. What a great experience. I was, I was writing in my journal that I have a lot to be grateful for and something like this feels a bit indulgent but it's just simple. It's the simplicity of it that makes it feel that way. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, now you can see my spinning a little bit better with some daylight. This top is so smooth. Uh, John Arbin is known for that. It drafts really easily is what I mean. So easily that you might <laughs> thin it out and have to start again. I don't know how long I'll be out here today. I have this feeling that to continue what I have gained from just spending some time outside, I'm just going to let it develop organically. Maybe I'll be here for a little while. Maybe I'll be here for a long while. I don't know. 
I'm lucky that the house is right there. <laughs> I can change my space at any point. I'm spinning this pretty fine, which feels nice. It's a bit easier for me to do that when the fiber itself is a worsted prep. It's very silky. I'll put the information for this fiber in the description box. And my classy squid spindle spins like a dream. Today will be a mix of this project and another knitting project that I'll share with you in a future episode. I'm also listening to an audiobook, which is great. I'll try to remember to share the title of that with you as well. It's called The Furrows, and I'll link to it. It's really enjoyable. Uh, this author is new to me, so I'm happy to have discovered them. Yeah. Spinning, coffee, breakfast, maybe some knitting, making my way through my book. I don't want for any more than this. I wish for you a few moments this week that feel simple and indulgent. And I'm very grateful that you came here to spend some time with me. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye for now.